Hello, I just wanted to so show some gameplay of my game Cyber Griffin that I've been working on for about a month and a half now. I'm gonna try not to talk too much and just show you the gameplay, but again, this is a project I've been working on. It is supposed to be styled like a 2D version of Doom. Um, all the code so far has been written by me for the game, but all the assets, the music, the art, um, you know, sprites, sound effects, that sort of stuff is from the Free Doom project. So shout out to them. Awesome project, love them for years, and um, lets me focus on the programming for this game, which I'm very excited about. I've wanted to do something like this for years, and I'm finally getting around to do it, and I'm very happy with it. So let's go ahead and get to the gameplay. Uh, settings, you can adjust the sound effects and volume menu, uh, volumes, and it does save that. About copyright stuff, my website, freedom information, all the good stuff, check all that out. We're gonna go to gameplay, you can choose difficulty level. This one is very, very hard. <laughs> We're gonna go manning up. And right now there's no game save, but there's checkpoints. Every time you get to a new level, it adds it to a list here. So far I have um, five and a half levels done. I have four complete levels of regular gameplay, a secret level, and then I'm halfway through designing level five. We're using the naming scheme of episode one, M1 for map one, just like in Doom. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on this and get started. Uh, so again, you can play with the keyboard, Screen, game controller. In fact, I'm gonna. I usually play with the keyboard, but I'm gonna play with the game controller. Let's try just to give a try out. By the way, if you plan on playing this game, probably uh, I'm gonna show you where all the secrets are, so you may not want to watch this uh, if you actually plan on playing it. So there's a secret there. If you hit select on the uh, gamepad or tab on the controller, or there's a button on your touch screen, it does go into a zoomed out map view, which also gives you statistics up in the top left there, your time, enemies killed, and secrets found, and the secrets left to find. on the uh, enemies being stupid sometimes. They don't walk into walls anymore, but apparently they still uh, walk into barrels. Yeah, still an early development here. Some friends played this the other day to test it. I was worried that it might be a little too easy since, you know, it's hard to tell when you're the game developer, you know, where everything is and how everything works, but I had two friends come over and play all the levels I had, and it worked out well. They, they, they had a good time playing, it was an appropriate amount of difficulty, it took a little bit longer to get through the levels than me, but that's because I, again, know where everything is. It took them a couple of tries on each level, so, uh... Not too difficult, but not too easy. errors in my little storyline here, so we're just going to skip past this. <laughs> so we're going to continue. Um, 
And again, the game runs fairly well. It didn't at first. I had to make a lot of modifications, but uh, my son has a $30 Amazon Fire tablet from 2019, and this game runs fairly well on it. There's a uh, one level that has a lot of bad guys that spawn into it. It runs a little rough on that. But for the most part, it runs pretty good on $30 piece of hardware. Hope to implement multiplayer feature later on. Again, I'm hoping I'm not making this look too easy. Trust me, if you if you never played it before, it's a little more difficult than you would think. I know where everything is, how everything works. Suit on, so the lava doesn't hurt me right now. Jeez. I didn't really show you before, there were locked doors. I went and got the keys. Because I knew where to go. A little informational stuff comes up there. Not necessary for gameplay, but just guide you. Again, that said, um, yeah. I some message I have set up to only pop up once. Basically, it <laughs> advises me to a suit that I'll go back and get it in a minute. <laughs> teleporters can have random landing pads. For example, that one I just went through could bring you one or two places randomly. It brought me up there, which is fine, but sometimes it will bring you back here to where this red door opens. And you can get this, and that counts as a secret. So, it's supposed to count as a secret. Since I found zero of two, I must have not been that one. There is infighting, which is fun. Infighting is when you get the bad guys to fight each other. Jump over that, because if you don't, ah, uh, it's a trap. So they got this. Let's see my statistics on that one. 
plus the bad guys. What secret did I forget? I, I must have moved the marker on that one and it didn't register because I did get them both. Okay, did it in just under five minutes. When you start up, it gives you the level name and up in the top right corner, it tells you where the designer is, which is all of these. idea of what the levels are like. There is a secret down here ah, that I'm passing by for right now. That door is locked on the timer. This is the room where lots of bad guys um, and runs a little slow on cheaper hardware. So I might turn down the number of bad guys that spawn. Let's see. down there, but don't want to waste your time.
So the end of the level was up there where I just was. I'm back at the beginning now because I want to take you to the secret exit. Any cheat codes, which will be documented on the website eventually. By the way, there's a uh, link in the description of this that will uh, bring you to the website where you can go get the code or find out more information about this project. I'm go ahead and so here's the pit of despair. I'm going to hug the right wall here. It's a secret exit. You can see the tiling is different. Again, there's probably uh, typos in this. I have to get this all proofread. Basically, I, I exited through a service hatch and now inside the machine. Here we have power fuel. They give you speed for a certain amount of time. The more you get, the faster you go, and then it slowly fades out over time. At this level, it doesn't have any bad guys. It's all obstacles. You're inside the machine. So I've got crushers here. There's two places where if you fall, you die. A lot of moving platforms and crushers. trying to get I always just go for it ah and I did it on my first try nice normally it doesn't go that smoothly a few tries at least waiting those fireballs myself a plasma pack I picked up the plasma rifle by the way that was the secret back there that I went through again this level is counting the secrets uh, incorrectly there's three that I haven't gotten yet. I definitely got some. Got that one. Yeah, there's four. I skipped one, so the other one's not going to count. Jumping over the exit there, that counts as a secret right here, so. Two or three, and there's actually four. That's a short little secret level. Zero. This is no one to kill. Again, I got through it pretty fast. My test subjects did not get through it that fast. <laughs> okay. Door opening slowly. So uh, it says here, well, when you come through here, that this is a testing, a weapons testing factory, and then you see a blue light up ahead, and it's like this plasma bullet's coming to get you. Yeah, duck under them. That's why the level's called Duck and Cover. <laughs> get taken care of. Secret level, a little hidden plasma gun there. These platforms you cannot jump while they're moving up. You can only jump when they're moving down, so you time it appropriate to that. Let's see. More chain gun guys. Still up on plasma. Power fuel, so I'm back to regular speed here, which feels very sluggish after you've been going at that.
the bottom one, each one has a switch with a different one. Mega Sphere, Power Cell. half done right now called power surge there's a uh, finally flickering lights I try to add something new to each level so far I've only played this level testing starting here I haven't tested this level coming from another level called left level that people play so when you start off without going to other levels, you start off just a pistol. Uh -huh. I don't have a plasma rifle at this point. Uh -huh. I'm testing it. Uh -huh. it hurts a lot easier, and that's the sort of thing you need to adjust for designing the levels. Uh -huh. it's difficult. Uh -huh. enough when you first come to them, if you don't have anything, but also if you come from another level, don't want it to be too easy. So this uh, door, this door opens somewhere else. It's the first uh, time where I have a remote switch outside the invisible ones on the previous levels. So click that. And the door opens. Same time as I have the rocket launcher. Let's go to the little barrel. Those uh, fuel canisters, which allow 
allows me to pop up to here. Normally you wouldn't be able to make that jump, but the full cancer is running at you. But that Cyber Griffin, let me uh, let me show you the website real quick. I don't need those on anymore. Okay. So again, it's in the Godot engine. Um, if I filmsbychris.com forward slash games, click on 2021 Cyber Griffin, and here is the website I just set up yesterday or the day before. Uh, it's got some information. You can play it in the web browser, but gameplay may vary depending on your browser. Uh, the, uh, uh, like on my computer in Chrome or Brave, it runs fine, but audio is like a quarter of a second delayed, which is a little weird. Firefox, the audio is fine, but it, the frame rate's kind of low. I played it on, in Chrome on another machine the other day and it ran fine. So you can play it right in the web browser. You can get the source code, open it up with Godot. I have an APK here. You need to enable, uh, you know, um, sources, uh, what, what do they call it? Outside sources other than Google. I don't forget what it's called. Uh, hopefully, eventually, uh, I will have this in the uh, Play Store once I am done with it. Uh, and then you can also get the game. So you click here. This will generate a uh, zip file for you. It takes a second. I have a little thing here. So give it give it a few seconds. It's generating a zip file that has um, a little bit of documentation, but mainly two main files inside that zip file, an executable and the pack file. And then just click on the executable, extract it and click on the executable. So we got Android, Windows, and then Linux. Eventually, I hope to have it in the Debian repositories, which would propagate to other distributions. But right now, uh, if you're on a Debian-based system, you can just install Go.3 with your package manager or go to the Go. website. I'll probably have other directions on here later on um, and download Godot. Then just download the pack file. You can use wget or this button right here. And then just tell Godot with a dash dash main dot pack, open this up. So if you were on a Debian-based system, current Debian-based system that has Godot 3 inside the uh, repositories. Just basically highlight these three lines of code, paste them in your terminal, and the game should download and start. Uh, you obviously have to type in your password for the Godot uh, engine there. That's it. That's what I have so far. Again, I am very excited about this. I'm very happy with it. I hope you guys are too. Definitely, if you play it, um, let me know. Uh, right now, I guess you can comment in this video. Eventually, maybe I'll have a place. I'm actually thinking about putting something in the game where people can communicate, maybe, if I'm up for doing that. Um, that being said, uh, I'd like to know what you think. Give it a try. Uh, and yeah, I'm open to input. I hope that you like it. And again, it's still early stages of development, but coming along great, I personally think. And there's a lot more. I have a lot more ideas. The next level after I finish this level, I'm hoping to do something cool because right now we're on level power surge where the lights are flickering. And my idea, I haven't developed this yet, but at the end of that level, when you teleport out, you're going to be ripped into two players. And then you have two players that you're controlling with the same controllers on the next level. And you've got to get through the level with both players alive to put them back together. That's the plan for the next level. We'll see if that actually works out. I need to uh, give it a try, but should work. Anyway, thanks for watching. As always, I hope that you have a great day.